In today's video, I'm overclocking the Xeon W7 2495X CPU all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz using the Asus Pro WSW790 ACE motherboard and EK Pro custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Please don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this CPU, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the AI Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP1. This enables the Intel Extreme Memory Profile 3.0 technology and makes the DDR5 RDIMM memory run at its rated speed of DDR5-6800. Selecting XMP1 means the motherboard will load the primary timings, frequency and voltage. The motherboard will optimize the other memory parameters. Set ASUS multi-core enhancement to enable to remove all limits. This will unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 power limits and lets the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Set CPU core ratio to bi-core usage. This enables us to configure a dynamic CPU core overclock as we can configure the maximum allowed CPU ratio for a given number of active cores. Enter the bi-core usage submenu. Set turbo ratio limit 1 to 52. Set turbo ratio cores 1 to 8. Set turbo ratio limit 2 to 51. Set turbo ratio cores 2 to 12. Set turbo ratio limit 3 to 50. Set turbo ratio cores 3 to 16. Set turbo ratio limit 4 to 49. Set turbo ratio cores 4 to 24. Leave the by core usage submenu. Enter the specific core submenu. Here we can limit the maximum ratio for each CP core individually, regardless of the by core usage configuration. Set core 0, 1, 6, 18, and 21 specific ratio limits to 50. Set core 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 19 specific ratio limit to 51. Set core 7, 8, 11, 20, 22, and 23 specific ratio limit to 52. Leave the specific core submenu. Set DRAM frequency to DDR5 6600. This effectively reduces the memory frequency from the XMP rated DDR5-6800 to DDR5-6600. I had to do this for stability reasons. Note that we retain the memory XMP timings because we selected XMP1 earlier. Enter the AVX related controls submenu. Now we can adjust the CPU ratio offsets associated with various frequency licenses. The frequency licenses are tied to different workload levels ranging from the lightest for IL-0 to the heaviest for IL-3. IL-0 is the ratio configured in the per core ratio limits menu. IL-1 is the ratio offset for AVX2 type workloads. IL-2 is the ratio offset for AVX512 type workloads and IL-3 is the ratio offset for AMX type workloads. As a rule, IL-0 should be higher than IL-1 which should be higher than IL-2 and should be higher than IL-3. Set AVX2, AVX512, and TML ratio offset to per core ratio limit to users specified. Set AVX2, AVX12, and TML ratio offset to 4. Leave the AVX related controls submenu. Enter the Digi plus VRM submenu. This gives us access to the options to configure the motherboard voltage regulators. Set CPU current capability to 140%. This helps avoid any overcurrent related issues when pushing the CPU to the limit. Leave the Digi Plus VRM submenu. Set vCore 1.8 volt in to manual mode. This allows us to adjust the VCC in voltage, which powers the fully integrated voltage regulator or Fiverr driving the CPU core voltages. Set CPU core voltage override to 2.3. Increasing the VCC in from 1.8 volt to 2.3 volt helps reduce the current draw at high power consumption. That makes it easier on the VRM. Set global core ISVID voltage to adaptive mode. That gives us control over the factory fused voltage frequency curve of every core in this Sapphire Rapid CPU. We can adjust the VF curves per core or across all cores. The latter is what we're doing today. In adaptive mode, we can either configure an adaptive voltage or set an adaptive offset. 
Setting an adaptive voltage offset adjusts each core's entire factory fused voltage frequency curve. This method provides the best transient load stability across a wide range of workloads, ranging from light single-threaded workloads to heavy AVX multi-threaded workloads. Set offset mode sign to plus. Set offset voltage to 0.1, then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 53.58% in Blender Classroom. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5.2 GHz. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 4,469 MHz with 1.221 volts. The average CPU temperature is 93 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 26.4 and 32.4 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 598.4 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for their support and see you next time.